Hey guys, you know what? A couple of years ago, I spoke at the University of Georgia. Go Bulldogs, baby! I spoke at the University of Georgia and I had to drive from Atlanta, Georgia down to Athens, which is about 44, 45 miles. And while I was on the way there, they held the radio talking about this, this crime that just took place and they were talking about the suspects they were looking for. And they said the suspects were uh, black males in long white tees and dreads. And they kept talking about that's the description they had and they, they were looking for these guys and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, man. And then I got to the University of Georgia, one of the best universities in America. And I got there and as I'm walking around the campus, I see three guys who walk by, all three of them black males, long white tees and dreads. And they're college students, one of the best universities in America. Well, about the same time, I was at a mall in Atlanta with my daughters, and my daughters were shopping. They were in there at a store with their mama, and they were shopping. And you know, I was there trying to pick up some other things. And I'm walking down, I'm walking down this this aisle, walking down a corridor, whatever you call it, at the mall where people walk in the stores on the side. I'm walking down that, and while I'm walking down that, I see this young white guy, probably about 17 years old, and I'm telling you, dude, he had stud a dog collar, stud dog collar around his neck. He had leather on his wrist. He had a little what you call that little glove with the fingers out and he was walking like he was so tough and so hard and he was looking at me and I looked at him and I'm like man because I grew up in the hood and where I come from when you see someone who might be a potential threat you got to get yourself ready in case you have to defend yourself or whatever and this kid's walking up and I'm looking at him and he's looking at me and I'm sitting there saying I hope this kid doesn't start some mess I mean this kid to me I stereotyped him right away I said he looked like a skinhead you know, just like someone may see that black kid in the long white tee and the dread and stereotype him as looking like a gangster or a thug. I kind of stereotype this kid as being a skinhead. I'm like, oh man, I hope this kid does start some mess. And then when I got up close to him, he said, hello sir, how are you today? And I was like, wow, it blew me away the way he talked because the way he looked didn't match how he talked at all. Turns out the kid heard me speak at the school before and wanted to come up and say hello to me. But if you looked at the kid and how he was carrying himself, you would have seen him as being somebody totally different. And you know what? Right or wrong, good or bad, sometimes we have to think about the fact, because here's my question. When I saw the kids at the University of Georgia, hmm, were the thugs trying to look like students in college? Or were the college students trying to look like thugs? Hmm. When I saw the kid at the mall, was the kid who was a good kid at the high school trying to look like a skinhead or the skinheads trying to look like the good kids? I mean, I don't know the answer to that, but I do know this. Be careful how you dress, be careful how you carry yourself because people will treat you based upon it. Doesn't say it's right, it says it's reality. And you know I'm telling the truth. Life, life, lessons, lessons, really.